Hello everyone and welcome to a quick guide I'm gonna be doing on the weapon and armor limit break situation, resource cost and everything. So I'm gonna be focusing mainly on weapons but I got a feeling the armor will follow the exact same trends because there seems to be a rule to how upgrading works beyond the plus four tier four. Uh, uncap situation. I've already done a video on this but now that we've reached the tier 2 uncap there are more trends to be aware of so let's get right into it. Oh, it's you. So I'll go to the R&D list okay so for I'm quickly gonna go over the armor rules for upgrade so the trend is for the leg armor it costs one six star resource to uncap to plus five and beyond so i'll go over the extra costs for plus eight and beyond when i'm talking about the weapons because i feel like the armors are going to follow the same exact trends that the weapons will follow but to start off with the legs require a six star, a single six star resource to uncap and level up beyond uncap. The chests armors require a single war, uh, what do I say, a single purple metal, uh, faction appropriate purple metal to upgrade uh, beyond uncap. The hats require a single red metal faction appropriate to uncap and level up beyond uh, tier 4 plus 4 so plus 5 and onwards limit break situation the weapons so here's where i'll be going more in depth to the extra costs because there is a uh, method to the madness there's a there seems to be a clear trend in the material requirement for upgrades beyond uncap so there are three main stages you'll see uh, when you reach a weapon max level of tier 4 plus 4 you can bring it to plus 5 and limit break so the first big uh, the first change will be at plus 5 for the resource costs the next step will be at plus 8 and beyond so you can see I can bring this plasma welding gun plus uh, from plus six to plus seven, it'll still cost one uh, resource item. Well, here I've got the combat knife E plus seven to plus eight, and you'll see an extra bunch of resources. So that's the next tier of resource requirement level up in the uncap situation. Tier one uncap would bring everything you would upgrade to plus nine. Plus nine was the maximum upgrade for the limit break tier one. Now plus 14 is the maximum uncap for the uh, tier 2 uncap. I've only got one item upgraded to that stage so far and it's the Bronson Magnum E and plus 14 is the current maximum. I don't know at what number this is going to eventually end at but for now I'll go over the, uh, the thing. So uh, I've got a... yeah my goal at the moment is to bring every weapon to plus 11 so i can show off the plus 12 costs for every weapon that i can upgrade in the game but that's a long-term project so i figured i'd do this video quickly uh just to give everyone something okay so the rules for the weapons are the plus five uncap requires to either two six star material or two faction appropriate purple medals, purple boss drop medal, but there's no like bosses. It's uh, you know, it's the reward for the highest force. So, in the nail blaster plus's case, it's two faction appropriate. Uh, the weapon type is the OD, so it requires two dot purple. Is there anything else? Okay, here uh, the murderous rake plus requires two special steel which is a six star material. So it's either two of a six star material or two faction appropriate purple medals. Now it'll cost that until it reaches the plus seven state, at which point 
to bring it to one plus, plus eight and beyond, it'll start costing extras. So these are not random extras. These are pretty specific things. Combat Knife E plus eight, as an example, the Chrome Molly, War Ensemble Orange are added to the first requirement for plus five and beyond, which was the aluminium alloy 9048 six star material times two. So the rule for plus eight and onwards is it'll require the initial costs for plus five. Um, it's in a tier system, so it'll keep requiring the previous tier and it'll add on to that tier the next requirement. So for the plus eight and onwards, it requires the same as the plus five and onwards in addition to one seven star material and one faction appropriate orange metal. So the knife is war ensemble, so it costs a war ensemble orange and a seven star chrome molly iron type. So the next stage, you can upgrade to plus 11 safely and once you reach your weapon reaches plus 11 then it'll start getting really obnoxious. The flamethrower E as an example, plus 11 flamethrower E uh, to plus 12. Its initial cost was war purple and you can tell what the initial cost was for limit break because it's usually perfectly in line with the orange and platinum that they'll add to it. Let's see if I can find an example. Okay, here. Uh, the special forces shovel E, the biofuels on top of the war orange and the war platinum in the list. So the two biofuel was its initial plus five and onwards uncapped cost. Uh, let's go back to the flamethrower because it's a cool weapon and I like it and it does a lot of damage. It slays. Uh, so the war or uh, the war purple initial uncapped plus five and onwards. Then it started costing one chrome molly and one war orange at plus eight and onwards. To bring it to plus twelve, they added to that cost. Uh, another Chrome Molly, another War Orange, an Orcalcum, and a uh, War Platinum. So many things are added at this stage. Uh, the, third, the third stage of upgrade costs increase we have here to plus 12. So it's the previous costs, uh, everything from the previous grade of upgrade costs. Uh, and added onto that one eight star material and one faction appropriate orange, a uh, seven star and a platinum. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm gonna quickly show off all the weapons I've got to plus 11 so far for anyone who's curious to see what the upgrade costs to increase those are. But you can expect two orange faction appropriate and one platinum faction appropriate to be the most difficult mats. And of course the one eight star material that's extra, which could be tough to get. I've got a lot of lignum. I've got hardly anything of everything else. So that's a thing. Anyway, yeah, I'm upgrading everything to plus 11. I'll make another video when I've got that done, but don't expect it anytime soon, because yeah, it takes a lot of effort getting all these mats. So the flamethrower, the, I guess the most interesting change will be to see what eight star mat it will cost. Got the flamethrower with the orichalcum, the camas with the lignum, Special Forces Fatback, the Spirit Lance S with the Polyfiber, the Wand of Conflagration S with also the Fatback, the Grim Reaper Scythe with the Tamahagane, which I also have a decent amount of, the Hornet Saber A, also Tamahagane, and you can use the the method I just explained to kind of go back into the past of every weapon and see what it initially costed and how much it will cost to go further. Of course the Forceman, 
they work on kind of the same rule just instead of the two six star or faction appropriate they cost one 44 ce uh, armors are probably roughly the same rules i think this, these rules apply to armors as well but i haven't upgraded anything enough to properly confirm that i haven't got any armor to a plus 11 state yet also i'm not working on it yet i'm focusing on weapons first anyway <clears throat> that's a side of point uh, murderer's hockey stick a is also an orc situation which i have nothing of yet uh let's see yeah let's take the hornet saber a and go back and see what its uncap history was so it initially would have costed uh two milk purple to upgrade to plus five and beyond to a plus seven to bring it to plus eight and plus nine it would have required one aramid fiber two milk purple one milk orange uh to bring it to plus 12 well to take it to plus 12 and 13 and 14 the costs are here uh plus one aramid fiber plus one tamahogany plus one milk orange plus one milk platinum so yeah that's the the whole uncap situation Come back yeah there's a there's a clear trend going on it's very there are rules that they are sticking to hope the video was useful for people uh, have a good day and uh, see you in the next one <laughs>